What's up guys, Jacob Rothenberg here, and what I want to talk about tonight is related to the last previous video regarding building your Facebook group. In this video, we're going to talk about designing the perfect lead magnet to promote a Facebook group related to your book brand. So um, I've assumed it's relatively intuitive on what constitutes as a good lead magnet. But for those of you who are new to internet marketing, it might not be the case. So what is a good lead magnet? A good lead magnet is literally anything of value that can legitimately benefit your end user related to your niche, your topic, and the lead magnet will justify joining your group. So in exchange for joining your group, someone has to get the lead magnet and the lead magnet has to substantiate enough value for the trouble of joining your group. Now, obviously, if you're just joining a free Facebook group, it's not really a whole big hassle. But, you know, if you want to make any success past the front end of having someone just join your group and beyond that, like actually buy your book, buy your course, buy your program, um, it definitely helps to have a solid lead magnet that leads into providing more value thereafter. So let me give you a specific example. Now, I'm here in Vegas in my $100 million penthouse, and um, I am pending receiving my real estate license here. So if I were building a Facebook group related to my real estate business here in Vegas, I mean, outside of a book, I'm just gonna give you this example. What I would provide as a lead magnet is a PDF guide on all the different neighborhoods in Vegas, the pros and cons, and which are most suitable for the individual and my contact info at the end of the document. So that would suffice for anyone that's interested in buying real estate here in Vegas. Now for your book brand, it really can be all over the place. If you're doing something related to art, it can be um, art ideas. If it's related to like, um, let's say typography, it could be a font file. If you're doing something related to um, better sleep, you can provide case studies or some kind of um, promotional scientific study showing that what you have leads to benefits, blah, blah, blah. So really anything of value. Now, so one might ask, well, how do I design my lead magnet? So one tool that you'll become accustomed to using and learning how to use well is canva.com. So that's C-A-N-V-A.com. And it's a really useful platform in which you can not only design pretty much any size image for a weather, for anything you need for like a banner, on social media, even your ebook cover. I've designed several ebook covers with Canva. Um, you can also design PDF guides with Canva, and that's something that I've done for my own programs. Um, if you've gone to romancepublishingacademy.com, uh, the lead magnet for that program is made by Canva, and it's just a two page uh, guide on romance. So, um, and that'll lead to my next point how long should the lead magnet be? And I would say as long as it needs to be to deliver value. So if you can deliver that value in two pages, great. Two pages is all that you need to suffice in giving the information you want to portray as being useful to the end user. If it needs to be a 20 page guide, if I'm going to have to present different neighborhoods here in Vegas and I have uh, 20 different neighborhoods to discuss, so be it, I'll make that happen as well. But don't get too caught up in, oh, I need to have this 100 page guide to promote my book. And then you realize, wait, my book is not much longer than 100 pages. So keep it basic, keep it simple. All we're needing is something that will entice users to not only join the group, but to stay and be retained as a potential customer for your business. So that's going to be key as well. Now, next question that I actually saw in Sean Dolwett's group is, how do I host the file? How do I host 
the lead magnet on the internet. So there's three ways, well, more than three ways, but I'll, gi I'll give you three ways. Number one, the most simple way, is to simply upload it on your Facebook group, within the group, and s set it as a pin announcement. So you can set it as a pin to post that'll stay at the top of the group, and it can be like, hey guys, welcome to the group. Uh, as promised, here is the guy, just click below. Or, yeah, click below and they will get the group uh, lead magnet. Another thing you can do if you want to be a little bit more sophisticated with your setup, such as um, hiring someone onto your newsletter before uh, they actually get your lead magnet. If you're doing a newsletter setup, you can host the file with what I recommend is either Google Drive because it's completely free and easy to use, or you can use uh, Dropbox. So, you know, don't make this more complicated than it needs to be. Host it on Google Drive for free. Uh, if you're able to host it on Dropbox and just give a public link that can be shareable with everyone that accesses it. So that's pretty much it on designing your lead magnet. If you have any questions or anything that I, that I possibly miss with the basics of designing your lead magnet, leave a comment below. Let me know what you want to see next. Otherwise, I will see you later. Take care.